Well, I'm going to go ahead and call it to order since I know James and Kevin will be here. And I don't think anybody else will be here. So, uh, call this meeting to order. It is a special call meeting. Of course, the only items we can discuss are those items listed on the agenda. And the first item of business is the COVID related grant program for affected city businesses approval. We approved this doing this grant program back in the December meeting. Um, we set all of our dates. The deadline is tomorrow to get everything into Frankfurt. And I, Amy and I discussed it. We decided we wanted to go through another meeting to approve the applicants just to have additional paper trail and kind of crossing those T's and dotting those I's. So we had person 34 and one dropped out. One pulled out at the last minute, didn't they? Yeah. So we had 33 applicants that were approved. Um, 14 receiving the full amount and then 19 the leftover for 2615. What we, we did was look at it and I, uh, and Kirstie, I want to thank you for all of your work on this. You all wouldn't believe the work she has put into this. Uh, and stuff she would check out and call me with information so we didn't have a jig. She was a step or two ahead of us, so and I appreciate that. But the, the 14, we, 14 of them were restaurants and Beauty, Beauty salons, salon, barbershops. Salon, barbershop, yeah. And and we they approved the full funding of that, the full maximum of three thousand, which primary reason was restaurants had to close twice. But then the, the beauty salons and barbers were some businesses that had to be closed back in April and May, but they weren't able to do curbside or online or anything. Yeah. They couldn't they weren't weren't a service where they could go uh, well, Josh will work on the computers or through somebody's office or something. I don't mind picking on them. So, and we, I don't think they could even sell hair products and stuff. I don't think they could even sell those. That I don't know. But, don't but even if they sell hair products, we're talking probably 120. Exactly. But even, you know, even I doubt that you'd be open for that because you couldn't afford to pay anybody yeah. just for that. Uh, and then what we did was take the rest of it and divide it equally among the other 20 businesses. Now we had a little bit left over from, I think we're going to have a ten or 12,000 left over from our first year. So we added to it. And we came up was able to give the other $2,650 $2, a piece. So I thought, you know, 350 short of the max is pretty good. Excellent. And I'm excited about it, to be honest with you, because a lot of these people, January and February are the slowest two months of the year for a lot of retail and businesses like that. When after the holidays are over, people kind of have spent all they could spend. So I'm excited we're able to do it this time of year and get all this done. But, uh, she is going to, and we can do it if you all want to. For the sake of time, I just said we've got the 34. She's going to list them out in the minutes. So it'll be individual part of our records for Frankfurt. If you need a list, whatever you need, just let us know. Yeah. I'm look at it later. I don't have to read it. <laughs> but we do need a motion to approve those 34 applications. So, second. We have a motion to second. Any further discussion? Those in favor signify with aye. Aye. Opposed, uh, same. Motion passes. The uh, second item was the lease on the city building at what address, Larry? 122. She told, about about our, she told us she told you. We just wanted you to remember. Yep. You got it from me. 122 West 2nd Street, which is the old Gaither building. We were contacted by Joe McBoldry, who's actually through our tourism commission, or tourism coordinator. That's how they kind of cooked up. He was here for a show. And his comment was, he said, I think I, some kind of business he was looking to start, which is an artis artisan type business. They said he thought Beaver Dam would be a good place to do it because there was a lot going on here. This is a guy from Bowling Green. So he, he looked at the building over here and it would be two, 200 a month? Yes. As is. As is. And he's going to do any improvements? Any improvements he does. And it's basically we're doing the very same lease just with number changes that we have for the heavy hatches. Any improvement to have kicked off and leave payments? No. No. Oh, you got to go pay it. Well, that's the way theirs is. Okay. I thought they were in lieu of a few months. Okay. Uh -huh. My fault. Uh -huh. Are you uh, going to look at the other one? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Can you elaborate on one? I don't know. It's wood and metal work. Oh. I don't know. That's all I really Because everything's know. artisan now. You know, there's artisan breads. Yeah, well, true. But, you know, <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. I see. But uh, uh, I would make a motion. We thought it would kind of fit in with what we're trying to work with. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Those in favor, signify with that. Uh, Aye. Opposed, same. Motion passes. And then the last item is the second reading on the uh, 
additional six dollar fee monthly fee for the uh, garbage pickup. And now, we do, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Okay. Well, I was gonna say before we <laughs> but jumps in here, we got a couple things. I think we were talking about one to adjust. Larry and Kirsty, make sure I get all this right. We were going to. If you want the extra garbage pickup, it is additional six dollars. So your fee will be eighteen dollars, and it's set for a year, or through the end of the calendar year. You know, you can't say, "Oh, this month I want it, next month I don't," or "This week I want it, next week I don't." We're going on vacation for two weeks, so. You know, well, but again, somebody going on vacation for two weeks, all they have to do is call and tell us. We would. But wouldn't they still be charged? Yeah, they'd still be charged if they, if they sign up for it. Oh, yeah, they signed up for it. I thought you meant if somebody's going to be on vacation and have extra garbage, no, no, no. that would bump them up. Uh, you know, if they call and work with us, we're not. That uh, yeah, no. I'm sorry, I misunderstood where you were going with the vacation. But uh, uh, then they come back. Now, with that being said, I would probably wonder, you know, we would consider extenuating circumstances. Uh, change in a household. Thing. Change in a household. I told Charles St. Josh and Elizabeth were to move in with him and bring in five more people. Charles was like, <laughs> <laughs> but things happen. And somebody needs to, of course they can increase it, I guess, anytime, but, but if they have that move out, okay, it was a temporary thing, we'll work with you, but other than that. The case by case basis. Was there anything, it seemed like there was something else we were wanting to. That was the main thing that I remember. Yeah. Yeah, we were going to put it on the water bill or we were going to put an advertisement out. I need to put an advertisement out because I don't believe going to be too much information on the water bill. That's what I'm thinking of. I'll make motion. And I said we, can, we can wait and do it in February, effective February 1. That's what I think too. Just because Get Friday is February, January 1st. Although but, some folks are already aware of it. I'm well, yeah, they had an right. article about it, which was. Yeah, I saw some of them didn't like that. I'm like, so what do you want? And I think they even asked for that. Yeah, that was, they'd be more than happy to pay. <laughs> I'm not going to make no. names. But, uh, I'll make a motion to approve the second reading of the garbage pickup. With those? With the provision. Yeah. Change, okay. Second. We have a motion to second. Any further discussion? Those in favor signify with aye. Aye. Both same, and that motion passes. Entertain motion to adjourn. Okay. Second. Thank you all very much. I promised you.